As most action RPGs, leveling characters is an important part of Chronicon, and something you'll be doing a few times at least if you want to try every class. This game features a full campaign with 5 acts and a bunch of side areas and side quests in its leveling phase. If you've already beat the campaign once, the Tinka's Domain endgame area will unlock for all of your characters right away. You can also put the Chronicle of Knowledge legendary accessory on a rune that you can attach to your starting accessory at level 1 for a massive XP boost. So if your plan is to level a lot of alts, getting just one character to endgame and getting that item will save you a ton of time. When you load your character in for the first time, you'll have one skill point to spend on an auto attack replacer. Every skill tree has two at the very beginning. These skills can be spammed and restore mana on use. For smooth leveling, I recommend anything with range and with AoE. Don't be afraid to experiment with these skills even this early, because you can get a free reset anytime from Coram at the Chronicon. Most skill trees don't let you get another damaging skill for at least 4 more levels, which is why I usually start on casual difficulty and switch to normal as soon as I get my second active ability and some purple items equipped. On the loot filter, I turn off ordinary and enchanted equipment, rare and unique are the only two you care about this early, I turn off rare items that are on heroic when unique start to drop a lot more often, I also just straight up turn off all consumables, I just buy potions and scrolls from the Chronicon every few levels so I won't have to manage my inventory so much. Going straight through the main campaign missions and ignoring side areas may be your best bet. You can do some side quests if you feel like exploring, some of them give good rewards, but most of them just take up too much time that you'd rather spend killing monsters and getting the main mission rewards and getting to the end game. If you ever get lost, north is usually the right direction and quest givers are always shown on the map so hitting tab might reveal them. If you get stuck in act 3, you probably have to press some buttons on the ground and solve some puzzle. Completing each act rewards you with a bunch of XP and a special legendary piece of gear. At this point, use your own judgement to figure out what difficulty you should be on. Just a few good unique items should get you to heroic and then a few legendary items should get you to epic. Don't be ashamed if you can only do normal while leveling. The large XP boost and new item types on higher difficulties are well worth it, but that boost won't really do anything if you take too long to kill the mobs. In my experience, if you're taking longer than 5 seconds to kill a champion, or if you're dying more than once to the same thing, you might need to take a step back in difficulty. You'll kill mobs much faster that will get you the XP and the gear that you'll need to get back to the next difficulty. Whenever you're struggling, you can spend some crystals and materials at Chanty to reroll and augment the stats on your gear, but this can get expensive if you're just starting out and don't have billions of crystals saved up. Another good use for your crystals is to gamble them to replace your out-leveled pieces of gear. Check out my guide to items for a more in-depth look to crafting. Every increase in difficulty also increases the experience reward for killstreaks. Killstreaks are always really good to keep up, but starting on Heroic, this killstreak bar becomes really important to pay attention to and keep up. It can potentially get you multiple levels at once if you can stack it up high enough. Large open maps can be abused to get really high killstreaks. The Temple Garden in Act 1 is the first map like this you'll find, but my personal favorite to farm is Deepwood in Act 2. Leveling doesn't stop when you beat the campaign. You'll probably be level 60 to 80 unless you did a lot of side farming, and speaking to Tinka will open up his domain, the endgame area of this game. This is where you'll be doing a lot of randomly generated anomalies. Random anomalies to start to get the rest of your levels, but most importantly, to hunt for gear. The difficulty of anomaly you're doing will heavily impact the experience, Switching from Epic to Legendary goes from a 40% to a 100% bonus, and the final Mythic 15 difficulty has a whopping 4500% bonus to experience. Even at level 100, you aren't done progressing. Not only do your mastery levels scale infinitely, but the hunt for experience now turns into a hunt for items and the materials to upgrade them. Some of these items will vastly improve your build, especially legendaries that directly buff the skills that you're using. You can talk to Theo, the transmuter, after beating Act 3 to trade in 3 unique items or 3 legendary items to get a random one back. If all 3 traded items are the same type, you'll get one back of that same type. You can search on chronicondb.com for a specific item that you think will boost your power by a lot, and you can hunt for it. My method is to trade in every legendary that I get that I don't want until I get one back that's the same type of my desired item then I'll collect three of those, and then trade those in for a much higher chance at what I actually want. 
Also, if you're hunting down for a set and get duplicates, you can trade them in with champion crowns to get a random piece of that set back. Remember that increasing the difficulty will increase your magic find, so your main goal is to become strong to get enough items to advance to the next one so you can get even more items. Then once you've leveled, you can progress through the endgame content as much as you'd like, and make things much easier for future characters by giving them access to the Chronicle of Knowledge rune or even any other rune that you want to, and access to Tinka's domains, anomalies, with a large open space for them to gather large killstreaks. So thanks for watching the video, I hope it was able to help with your Chronicon journey, whether you're a new player or an experienced alcoholic. And I'd like to thank my two members for supporting the channel, Mr. Fatcat and Boomer2046.